So at the end of 2023, I uh, released this game for the Apple II called Castle Dane. It's a mini RPG game. It was a free download. I offered it. And I did get some comments from some people saying, hey, are you going to release a physical copy? Or it'd be kind of cool to see this even in like a, a baggie like they used to do for games. So I kind of came up with this idea of not really doing a box, but doing a folder. And so, you know, I came up with this folder here. It's got a, a front side and a back side. And it's got some goodies on the inside, like a disc, some papers, and actually some some cards and uh you know the reason i came up with it i've, I've got some games that were in folders like i kind of used the second wizardry as kind of my basis of how to do it they did eventually come up with a box to match the first game but the second scenario they first came up with a folder but there's a lot of different you know phantoms five different ones the first uh bard's tale so I thought it would be kind of, you know, since it's a mini RPG game, kind of a smaller type game, I thought it would be um, appropriate to kind of do it in like a folder type of thing. Yeah, once again, on the back, I've got, you know, a, a lot of this information is from the game itself, but it talks about, um, you know, the purpose, you know, of what you're trying to do in the game, a little blurb about the controls, and then some graphics and acknowledgements like that. Then you've got just of my uh, YouTube handle there, just a little card. I've got a disc. Um, and then I've got some paperwork here. So I've got a quick start guide. Once again, some of this information, most of it's in the, the program itself at the beginning, but it's the nice to have a copy of it. I've also got a uh, kind of a cross-section view of the castle with the different room names. So going from level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then lastly, I have like this little advertisement because uh, one of the guys uh, from Call Apple, the website, Bill Martins, he played the game, solved it, loved it, and he's like, hey, I want to make like a, a guidebook. So I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool. So... Uh, he's still working on it, so I kind of came up with this this ad coming soon for the Ultimate Guidebook. And so, um, you know, this kind of explains what it's what's going to be in the book and where to look for information about that. So kind of got that idea from, like, the Bard's Tale kind of did that in their, their books, their boxes. They would throw in, like, a little ad, like, hey, if you need a clue book, you know, here's an ad for that. And so then, you know, I eventually got the clue book. So that's uh, that. And then these are like little trading cards that I came up with. So, um, and then the back, it says Castle Dane on it. And you can actually take these out of here. And then in the upper left-hand corner is the strength. These are like the starting uh, attributes. So strength, you've got dexterity, you've got vitality, and you've got the max vitality. So it has that for every um, character in there. It's got Ursodemus, Zoriana, Ken Sloopney, and Lauren Leaf. And so that fits in there as well. So why did I throw the collectible cards in there? I always like collectible cards. Like I've got this collection of Tron cards. I don't collect a ton, but I used to collect a lot to get, you know, I always like to put them in like in little books or things like that. So I thought it'd be cool to have some cards. I loved getting games where you got something else in the box. Like for example, I knew that like the Inficom games, they would have stuff, I think they called it like feelies or something like that, where you would actually in the box, you would get some stuff you know, that you could, that was kind of collectible, whether it be a button or something like that, or, or, uh, 3D glasses so you could read the comics, things like that. And then, of course, most people know, like, the Ultima 3 game came with this cloth map, which was kind of a nice thing to get in there. And then, I remember, I was big into Wizardry 4, and so 
they had like this little, you know, individually numbered like charge card, which they called the Mordor charge card. And uh, so that was kind of fun to get. So I always thought, you know, it'd be cool to get something else in the game besides just the disc and the, and the you know, directions or a quick start guide or things like that. So that's uh, part of the reason why I put that in there. So I have a short run of these folders and they're six inches by nine inches. And in the description of this video, I'll have a link to a Google form just to gauge if you're interested in purchasing one. I'll have like a cost on there. I can get back to you. We can, uh, you know, talk via email about cost shipping, things like that. And um, that's, you know, just once again, if you're interested in getting a physical copy that looks like this. So I think that about sums it up. So as always, just thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.